Hi everyone, in today's and the next several videos, I will be covering the commands and functions used to manipulate strings with AutoHotKey. There's a lot of deprecated ones that aren't going to be covered in these videos. These are all commands that are being phased out by functions. So for example, if you go to the AutoHotKey website, string mid, for example, is a deprecated command that is replaced by a function already, which is substring. So you can see, I think there's somewhere, you substring that, that one here. So all the red ones you see on the left, instead of blue, underneath string, are uh, the deprecated ones that I am not going to cover. These will be doable by functions that have replaced them. So in today's video, we'll start lightly and just cover the top three topics. So if you're interested in these topics, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. Now, I'm not going to type everything out on the screen. I realized over time that it takes so much time to type everything out. It's probably not good for you, not good for myself either. So I've got examples saved elsewhere, which I'm going to just paste in as we go through these commands and functions. So now string upper and string lower is it works by a, a command. So I first created a variable called string one and I gave it a string value of this is a test and as you can see this is uh, capitalized whereas a test are small letters. Now string lower this is the output variable and this is the input variable. So this value the value that is stored in string one will be going into here and it will be popped back out to the same variable. So it's, this is just going to display everything in small letters. So the first message box, if I run this script, is going to display this string in all small letters. And this string upper does the same thing except that it capitalizes everything. So that's pretty much it. So the first message box gives me small letter. This is a test and capitalize this is a test. Instead of using the string lower, you can also use format. Format function to capitalize or make the cases small letters or you can make sentences proper case. So the first letters in each of the words in a sentence will be capitalized. So if I go ahead and run this script, the first one, this syntax gives you the upper capitalized characters and then L gives you the lower ca cases and then T makes it proper. So you see title T, G, H of title goes here have been capitalized like that. You can also do all of this in one go using this method. So you go upper, comma, lower, and T and the following strings upper lower title goes here will be applied upper lower and proper so you can see that the result that you get are these three strings stacked together uh, where the uppercase is applied to the first string and the lower and the title goes here right so there's not much to cover on that part anymore. So let's move on to strlen. strlen stands for string length. So uh, it basically counts the number of characters within a string. So this has how many? 43 characters. I think it includes the spaces as well. So let me just run this. And the result that we get is strlen str value, which is the variable that goes that gets the, the string assigned, it gets a value of 43. Now I'm pretty sure it includes spaces. So if I remove all the spaces, I'm going to get a less value. So here we go. So 35, so it includes a uh, spaces. And then we have the trim, L trim and R trim. L trim stands for left trim, R trim stands for the right trim. And what these do is they trim characters from the beginning or end of the string or both. So let's first start off with the L trim. I've got a string called hello. And then if I do an L trim on that string and trim H from the left and store the result into the result variable, this is going to cut out the H. So this is going to be hello. And then if I try to cut out E, 
uh, from the string so this is not the result so this is the string I'm starting with the string again where H is on the left of E this is not going to trim the E so if I go ahead and run it I get hello and hello right and R trim is the same thing so I've got hello again I've got a R trim of string and uh, to take out the the O on the right so this is going to give me a hell and the uh, R trim string of H is not going to trim anything it's the same result because we have the O hell and hello All right and uh, and then another example here that does the L trim and R trim so this is to demonstrate if you do a left trim it's going to take out all the E's on the left not just one and then if you do a R trim it's going to take out just one E because there's only one E on the right hand side so I'll get a R I E on the left one on, on the L trim one and the E E R I with the last E removed when I do a R trim now if you do a left trim and R trim and trim with no argument in the second parameter which removes all spaces and tabs so here I introduce the trim function alone so um, if you don't put anything so before I had uh, these characters right but if you don't put any characters in the second uh, parameter within the L trim R trim and trim function it's going to remove all the spaces and tabs now L trim removes all the spaces on the left R trim removes all the spaces and tabs on the right and trim removes all the spaces on the left and the right so what I'm gonna get so I'm gonna get how many message boxes is this yeah, three message boxes and the result the last result copied into my clipboard which is gonna which is just gonna put eerie in my clipboard without the spaces on the right I think these are all spaces and it works for it works for tabs as well so let me go ahead and run it so I get eerie there's a lot of spaces that you can't see here uh, but uh, let's go ahead and you also get eerie and this time the right spaces have been removed but left space has, has remained still because it's R trim and then you get just the eerie and that eerie, this value will be stored into my clipboard so if I do a control V I get eerie copied in without any spaces on the left or the right this is it for today's video we'll start off lightly like i said and cover the rest of the topics in the coming videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video